Hey everyone, John here. I'm going to do a build video today of what I've been playing mainly. I've been mating my scout with SR Enchanter Corsair. I made this build mainly to farm CMs as you can see on the screen. This build is pretty bad for any content besides CMs and hunting grounds and the single target boss damage is pretty bad and in PvP it's also awful. But the amount of silver it can farm and the speed it can do CMs is very good. I try to max loot chance gear whenever I can get it. So as you can see on the screen, I'm doing this with loot chance gear. And currently I can do somewhere between eight minute CMs, but I think I can get down to seven minute CMs with this build. And when I talk about eight minutes, seven minutes, I mean stages one through five. So let's take a look at the build. First, let's take a look at the equipment as this build is pretty expensive. The main component of this build is the Osseo Pistol. I have a Velkoffer Pistol with the Osseo Icker. The Osseo Pistol, as you can see, has a 20% chance of applying a target set debuff, and at, when you reach 3 stacks on the monster, it does 5000 to 7000 damage to in an AoE to 10 monsters. This is the main damage that your build will be doing, as you're going to be hitting a lot of monsters with all your skills, and you're going to be applying this debuff to like 20 monsters and it's going to just melt the monsters in CMs and hunting grounds. So this is pretty expensive and there's no real alternative so try to get this pistol as it's, right now it's 70 mil and I can only see it staying at that price. Next up we have the Freno set. So this is not mandatory for the build but it's very nice. If you don't have an Osseo pistol, you can get by with just the Freenos, but the Freenos is probably more expensive than the Osseo. So for the Freenos, you have a chance of dealing 2,000 to 3,000 damage to 10, 10 enemies. So the Freenos procs the Osseo as well, so those 2,000 to 3,000 damage to 10 enemies has a chance of applying set debuff from the Osseo. So when you combine both, it gets pretty insane. And the final piece of equipment for the build that I use is the Wastrel Sword. It has a 10% chance on strike attacks to increase your critical rate by 2 times. Because en you have Enchanter, Enchant Lightning, or uh, Lightning Gloves, either one I can't remember, but it turns all your attacks into strike attacks, so you're going to have this proccing a lot. As for my other equipment, when I run CMs, I actually drop the Wastrel Sword because I have enough damage and I use the loot chance gear instead. So I use a sword of strength con and white gems. And then my gear is also, my, my armor is also loot chance gear with white gems inside of it. So I'm rocking around like 800 loot chance. Very good for CMs. You're gonna see a lot of item drops. So let's actually take a look at the build. So for my skills, at first scout, I have double attack and free step really fantastic skills and for your third skill you can level up either oblique fire or cloaking i do a lot of pvp content so i level up cloaking instead really just a great skill for running away since i can't really pvp so it's your choice if you don't pvp you can just level up oblique fire as it combos well with corsair so for corsair the main reason to get corsair is brutality Brutality does 20% damage buff to missile attacks, and almost all your pistol attacks are missile attacks. I think everything you use except Hexen is a missile attack. So this is just a 20% damage buff. Jolly Rogers is the next thing that's really good. It's just a damage buff when you put the flag down, and they're great skill. And the other two skills I level up are Hexen Dropper and Quick and Dead. These are just two great filler skills while your main SR skills are down. So these level these up instead. The other skills are mostly for PvP and double weapon assault doesn't really work correctly with Limicon from SR. So this is kind of a trap. I would not level it. Tried it out myself. It did not work correctly. Next up we have Enchanter. So for Enchanter, you want to level up Lightning Hands and Enchant Lightning. These are your two main skills. And Over Reinforce is another great DPS bonus as well. So for the rest of the skills, I level up Enchant Earth. It's nice for block. I put one point into Agility. Leveling up Agility doesn't increase the movement speed. It only 
decreases the stamina consumption, so I leave it at one point, and I think everyone should as well. And I finally, one point in Enchant Glove is nice, but I have some points left over, so I put them in Enchant Glove instead. This is a decent accuracy buff, but with the new attribute to Enchant Glove, you get a critical bonus as well, so this is nice to have up all the time. And finally, we get to the main part of the class, which is the SR. You want to max Limicon and Retreating Shot. Limicon is the skill that lets you shoot while mounted. And Retreating Shot is just one of the best skills that Scout has for AoE clear. You just hit 15 targets and all those 15 targets are going to be taking the Osseo and the Freno. So you can see how that does a crazy amount of AoE damage. Marching Fire is also the another good skill. It does... 15 targets as well does not last as long as retreating shot but you should be cycling between retreating shot and marching fire for your other skills i only put one point into caracol caracol is mainly used for the debuff that you apply on monsters it makes them take 30 percent more damage from missile attacks so i use these mostly on bosses and there's a debate between evasive action and concentrated fire some SRs I've seen max evasive action, but I personally don't feel like I need it. If you feel like you need the ev evasion, you can max that, as Corsair gives some good filler in Hexen and Quick and Dead between your marching and retreating. But I didn't feel like I needed evasive action, and Concentrated Fire is just another good filler to have. And having three fillers means I pretty much have no downtime, so... This is just another skill I like to use, so I maxed it instead of evasive action. But if you want to max evasive action instead, there's no problem with that. As for attributes, having 50 or 60 in all attributes is definitely what you want to do first. But once you get enough attribute points, you would definitely want to max retreating shot. And then you want to max Limicon. I'm pretty close to maxing Limicon. And then I would, I would max Marching Fire, and then probably max something in the Enchanter area. So that's it for skills, and moving on to cards. For cards, I use the Prison Cutter Ratchet Pearl combo. This is just a nice bleed combo, and bleed procs your Osseo and your Freenos as well, so that's just another benefit of having bleed. I would personally was thinking of using Mind Loader and the Moa card. So Mind Loader shocks, but because you can apply multiple shocks, unlike bleed. You end up proccing the Osseo pistol a lot more, so I'm probably going to experiment with the mine loader later. And because I dropped the Ratchet Pearl and I can drop the Prison Cutter, I would probably get the Moa card instead. The Moa card does increase damage against demon type monsters, and this the one challenge mode I farm only has demon type monsters, so this is a very specific card for a farming build that would heavily increase my CM heavily reduce my CM times. For the green cards, I use Gorkis. It just gives me loot chance. And you can use another strength dex card if you don't get a Gorkis. If you don't feel like you have the damage as well. But I feel like I have enough damage, so I, I pick up the Gorkis card for the loot chance. Finally, for the blue card, I have an Aramos card. A Zara card or a Nuale card might be better. But the Armos cards are great for CMs as you have 40 monsters hitting you and you're going to be procking the shield pretty much every 10 seconds. So it's a really cheap alternative as Armos cards are like 200-300k. So this is another great defensive tool that's pretty cheap to get. And that's it for my current build. One thing I do want to talk about is the alternatives for the build. So you can choose other classes besides Corsair. I know that some people like to play with Assassin instead of Corsair, and some of you might be thinking that Assassin's mainly a dagger class, but Assassin has the Hasis Hasisas potion, and the Hasisas potion gives you attack speed as well as critical damage buff. So this can double your crit if you're at half HP, and it's just a crazy damage buff. So people just pop Hasisis Potion and auto attack with Limicon, and they're going to be doing a lot of damage. I personally think that this is better for single target DPS, but I personally find Corsair to be better for challenge modes as you have really good fillers in Corsair. 
another thing I was thinking about is Linker. As this build single target damage is really bad, Linker has Electric Shock. Electric Shock is one of the best scout single target damage skills in the game. And because my CMs are gated by how fast I can kill some bosses, dropping Corsair for Linker might be better. But I personally find Corsair good enough as I'm doing 8-7 minute CMs. But if you want to pick up these other classes, that's fine as well. And that's it for the build video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about the build, leave a comment down below. And if you want, please like and subscribe as it'll help me out a lot. Thanks and uh, hope to see you guys in the future.